Welcome back guys, Jimmy Jules 153 back with another Dreams Logic tutorial. Today we'll be going over the grab sensor. The grab sensor is a gadget you can use to detect when your imp is hovering over or has grabbed an object. At the top of the tweak menu is the consider players option for multiplayer. If you want more than one player needing to grab the object, you adjust this slider to the number of players. Under this is the affected object input where you can attach an object to make the grab sensor act as though it's attached to it. You don't need to do anything with this if you snap the gadget to an object. Next are the outputs. The first is the grabbed output, which outputs a signal when the player's imp has grabbed the object. The next is the hovered output, which will output a signal when the imp is hovering over the object. And finally is the imp stretch option, which outputs a signal corresponding to how hard the player is pulling on the grabbed object. If we pop into test mode here, you can see that when we hover over the cube, the hover output lights up. When we grab the cube, the grabbed output lights up. And when we pull on the cube, the imp stretch output is activated. If we come over here to the cupboard, we've got a grab sensor's hover output activating a signal generator, which is turning the keyframe slowly on and off to make the cupboard draw pulse red. This is a good way to indicate that you can interact with something. You might not be able to use the drawers under the first one, so you can do something to help the player subtly figure that out. If we move over to the button and scope in, we've got a grab sensor's grabbed output hooked up to a keyframe that depresses the button. We've then got a score modifier that increases our score by one. We've got our score chip over here to the right, holding the score which is just plugged into a number display so we can see what the score is on the right hand side of the screen. If we go into test mode again and grab the button, you can see that it gets pressed and our score goes up by one on the right. Now we'll go through a couple of examples of what you can do with the imp stretch option. This is a more simple version of the introduction scene for dreams where you tear through the wall with your imp. Each of the bricks on the wall have the same microchip attached to it. These microchips have just three gadgets in them. There's a grab sensor with the imp stretch output hooked up to a calculator. This calculator is checking whether the output from the imp stretch signal is greater than 75%. If it is greater, then it activates the counter, which is just a permanent switch. We've then got our permanent switch going into the physics options of the tweak menu for the block and activating the movable option so the block will move. Just note that it's important to make sure anything you want the player to be able to grab, that the object has the imp interaction set to grabbable. Otherwise the imp won't be able to grab the object at all. So with this logic copied across all the bricks, if we go into test mode and start grabbing them, you can see that it's static and unmovable initially. Then when we pull hard enough to activate the 75% signal from the grab sensor, the permanent switch with the counter gets activated, making the block permanently movable. You can do similar things with the stretch option to make objects feel like they have more of a weight. We've got the same logic set up here, but instead of making a block movable, we're activating a keyframe which switches the position of the lever. If we grab it and pull hard enough, it'll activate the keyframe and turn it. I used the grab sensor in the New Year's Eve celebration where the player could grab the fireworks and try and get as high a score as they could. That's all for the grab sensor guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.